In this video, we're going to take a look at making two-way tables. Two-way tables are also known as contingency tables. These tables are helpful if we have some data that we want to organize by two different things. For example, maybe we want to organize people by their handedness, left-handed or right-handed, and by if they have vision correction and what type. Maybe they have glasses, maybe they have contacts, maybe they don't have anything. And so we can organize that into a table and make use of that information to figure some stuff out. So uh, I have some information right here uh, related to Major League Baseball ballparks. There are 30 teams in the Major Leagues. Five of the ballparks have artificial turf. Seven have retractable roofs. One has a fixed roof. And three have a retractable roof with natural grass. So, what we're going to do is we're going to organize using this nice table I've got laid out here the information by those two different things. So, we have the field type. So, I'm just going to put that right here. So, the field type. And it's either grass or it's artificial turf. Okay, and you say, well, wait, you've got an extra one there. We're going to use that for the total. Okay, so these will be the total of the columns will go right there. Then on the top, we're going to organize it by the type of the roof. So roof type. And again, this is all information, and we're just organizing a couple different ways. So there's three different roof types. There's open, meaning there isn't a roof on the stadium. There is a retractable roof. So that means it can be open or it can be closed. Retractable. And we have a fixed roof which means it's always a dome stadium it's always closed and then we have a total column these totals will be the total of each of the rows here so that'll be the total grass the total artificial turf and so on so let's see if we can't fill in this table using this information and you might say well holy smolies we got a lot of spots there and there's not that many numbers there well let's see so what do we know we know that there's 30 total teams let's keep that in mind I think that might be handy five of the ballparks have artificial turf okay so artificial turfs right here and we know that five total ballparks have artificial turf well is that artificial and open artificial retractable artificial fixed no, that's the total. So that goes right here. So this is five ballparks with artificial turf. Okay. So we know that we don't know what type of roof they have necessarily. So we're going to have to figure that out. There are seven retractable roofs. Okay. So seven retractable roofs, not necessarily grass or turf just retractable so that's the total that's gonna go right here okay then we have one that has a fixed roof okay so one fixed roof it doesn't say grass or turf you might think well it's gotta be turf and yeah it does so we have that right there then we have uh, three that have retractable with grass Okay, so then we go to the retractable column right here, and with grass, that's this one right here. So now we've got three that go right there. So those, they have to open it up so the grass can get sunshine, um, and they're probably open more than they're closed. But, all right, so let's see if we can't figure out what we've got going now. All right, so in this retractable column, we know the total is seven, we know three have grass, so three plus what gets us seven? Well, that would be four, okay? So three and seven, or three and four is seven. That's our total there. Then going this direction, we've got uh, one fixed roof and uh, artificial turf. There's four unretractable, and then there's five total. 
and I told you uh, that we didn't get this from the data necessarily, but there's one, the fixed roof has uh, retr our artificial turf. So there's our five total with artificial turf. There are no stadiums that are open that do have artificial turf. And that wasn't always the case. There was a period when quite a few had artificial turf. Okay, so then, let's see, we're making our way through here. We need the total to be equal to the number of teams, so that's going to be equal to 30 right here. So this row and this column, those totals, have to be equal to 30. Okay, so then we've got 7 and 1 is 8. So 8 plus how many gets us up to 30? We need 22 that have an open roof, and all 22 of those ballparks have grass. Okay, because we know this column needs to add up to 22. And then we go this way. Well, let's see. We've got 5 here, and so that means there must be 25 right here. Okay, because this column has to add up to 30 as well. And then if we go this direction, we see 22 and 3, that's 25. So this must be 0. So that, again, that fixed roof, we kind of assume that it was artificial, but we see there that it for sure is. So notice what we did here to fill in all this information. We started with just some basics, and from that we were able to categorize and figure all these things out. So there's some terminology for the different numbers that are in this table. We call the numbers that are inside here the joint frequencies. These numbers that are inside right here are the joint frequencies. We call the numbers that are outside here, we call those the marginal frequencies. Okay, Those numbers right there are the marginal frequencies. And how can you remember that? I think it's easy to remember because you remember that these numbers are on the margin or they're on the edge of our table as we organize the stuff. So joint frequencies and marginal frequencies right there. Okay, so again, just to be clear, we we're given some information. We wanted to organize it in a two-way table. Two-way tables are helpful when we want to break down some data in two different ways. In this case, we broke down the major league ballparks into the type of roof that they have and the type of field that they have. These are current for 2020, uh, and so uh, you might see, it would, might be interesting to compare this to uh, this breakdown, say, 20, 30 years ago and compare uh, how things have changed over time. One other thing, these joint frequencies right here tell us two things. So this number three right here tells us that there are three retractable roofs that have a grass field. This number right here tells us that there are four retractable roofs with artificial turf. Okay, and then this 7 right here tells us that there are a total of 7 retractable roofs. So the data or the labels on the sides of our rows and columns can tell us what exactly each of those numbers stand for. There's 25 ballparks that have grass fields, 5 with artificial turf, and so on. All right, so 2A or contingency tables. I hope this video was helpful. Keep working hard on your math. You can do this.